Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel Success Home Tutor. Today we are watching most important chapter in 10th standard power sharing. This is a political science chapter. Listen carefully and pay attention. Overview. With this chapter we resume the tour of democracy that we started last year. Here we are watching the tour last year tour about democracy we noted last year that in the democracy all power does not rest with any one organ of the government democracy is not stand only one organ of the government because uh, most parts in democracy just like a legislature executive and judiciary these are the parts of democracy important the design of the democracy in this and the next two chapters we will watch after two chapter for all these parts of democracies in this and the next two chapters we carry this idea of power sharing forward and we will watch for all information about this uh, parts of democracy we start with the stories from belgium and sri lanka firstly we will start about the democracy of belgium and sri lanka both these stories are about how democracies handle demands for power sharing the stories held some general conclusions about the need for power sharing in democracy this allows us to discuss various forms of power sharing that will be taken taken up in the following two chapters all uh, most important things of democracies we will watch in their next chapter and uh, the two types of democracies belgium and sri lanka now we will watch belgium and sri lankan democracy belgium is a small country in europe smaller in area than the state of haryana <clears throat> belgium is very short country and uh, this is the european country and uh, it's very small just like uh, haryana it has a borders with france and its border with france the netherlands germany and luxembourg it has a population of a little over 1 crore and its population is very low means 1 crore about half the population of haryana its population is half for haryana very limited population population of this small country is very complex of the country a total population 59% lives in the flemish region 59% of population live flemish region and speak dutch language and they are they are speaking dutch language <coughs> and uh, wallonia region and another 40% people live in the wallonia region and speak french and uh, the 40% are language which living all in your region and they are speaking french language and remaining 1% of the Bel belgians speak german and remaining only 1% peoples are speaking german in the capital city brussels 80% people speak french while 20% are dutch speaking and the capital the capital of berlin there is 80 uh, means brussels 80% people speaks french and 20% are dutch speaking it is the difference of language speaking areas the minority french speaking community was relatively rich powerful and uh, this was resented by the dutch speaking community who got the benefit of economic development and uh, the minority means uh, uh less people in which ka which group 
they are rich and education much later and uh, education is much later this led to tension between the dutch speaking and french speaking community and this is a tension means difference dutch speaking and french speaking communities during the 1950s and 1960s this is the duration the tension between the two communities was more actuate in brussels and this tension is occurred in brussels brussels presented a special problem the dutch speaking people constituted a majority in the country and uh, brussels we watching that uh, brussels um, brussels main speakers are dutch and their uh, their majority in their so but a minority in a capital but they are minority in capital let us come compare this two situation another country sri lanka is an island nation just a few kilometers of southern coast of tamil nadu it has about 2 crore people about the same as in haryana this condition also same as haryana like other nations in south asia region sri lanka has a diverse population and sri lankan population is diverse because they are uh, there there is living also tamilian the major social groups are the sinhala speakers 74% and the tamil speaker 80% among tamil were two sub groups tamil natives of the country tamils have two groups some natives and uh, some others are called the sri lankan tamils who, who are natives they are called the sri lankan natives uh, sri lankan tamils 30% their uh, their con- quantity is 30% the rest whose forefathers come from india as plantation workers before their forefathers were come india for plantation workers during colonial period it's a very primitive period are called the indian tamils as you can see from the map sri lankan tamils are consulted in the north and east of the country most of the sinhala speaking people are buddhists while speaking people uh, most of the tamils are hindus or muslim some of us buddhist and some of us hindu or muslims this is the difference of language speaking there are about 7% christians who are both tamil and sinhala just to imagine what could happen in situation like this in belgium dutch uh, dutch community take advantage of its numeric majority and force it will be the french german speaking population and uh, this is the majority problem because uh, everyone is knowing that this could push the conflict among the communities further this could lead to the very messy partition of the country both sides would claim control over brussels in sri lanka the sinhala community enjoyed an even bigger majority and could impose its will be a entire country now let us look at what happened in both these countries so we have watched the minority and majority uh these all depend only on population of people so today we have watched in this lecture the brussels demo uh, sorry the democracy of two countries and now i am completing my short lecture namaskar